CDOT has recently had an increase in backing incidents causing injuries to our fellow employees and damaging our equipment and structures. During the next 180 seconds, we're going to show you three important steps of how we can avoid hitting and damaging our equipment. Step one, circle of safety. Before moving or backing any piece of equipment at CDOT, employees should perform a circle of safety to check for any unknown or hidden obstacles on all sides of the vehicle, including above and below. Don't assume that when you park a vehicle, that the situation is going to be the same when you return. Other vehicles, people, or animals may position themselves in one of the many blind spots of your vehicle, like this skid steer has done. If the operator only relied on checking from the driver's side of the cab, or using his side mirrors, he would not be able to see the skid steer parked behind him. Step 2. Know your vehicle's dimensions. As an operator, you will be driving a variety of vehicles with varying dimensions. With the addition of various implements such as plows, wings, and V-boxes, the width and height are increased reducing the amount of space to maneuver that you might be used to. This is why it is important to make sure implements are fully stowed before attempting to pull into or out of a garage. Regardless of vehicle size, always make sure that garage doors are fully opened before attempting to enter a garage or bay. Step 3. Using a spotter. Using a spotter when possible is a great way to reduce backing incidents. If you notice a truck backing without a spotter, employees should stop what they are doing and assist the operator. In doing this, employees also ensure that they are not caught between a backing vehicle and another object. Spotters and operators should always discuss hand signals so there is no miscommunication during the backing maneuver. When using a spotter, it is critical that both of you have a line of sight with one another. This will be easier if your mirrors are clean and in good repair. Spotters need to stay focused, avoid distractions, and assist the operator until he's fully parked. If the operator loses sight of the spotter, they should come to a complete stop until they establish contact. This may require that the operator get out and re-establish that contact. For the last 180 seconds, you have seen three steps to eliminate the main causes of most of our backing incidents here at CDOT. Supervisors, now it's time to get your crews together and practice the safe backing procedures using Safety 180 action sheets included within this video.